Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing well. In this third part of the video series, I will show you how to do texture of this Judge Mallet 3D model and Substance Painter. If you haven't seen the previous parts of this video series, I will recommend you to watch those videos, where I have shown how to do 3D modeling and UV texturing of this model in Autodesk Maya. You will find the links of the videos in the description below. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here in Maya, I have set the scene like this. And I have assigned different materials to the different parts of the model to keep it all textures in the separate layers. For all the wooden parts, I have assigned Lambert material and renamed as wood. For this metal part, I have assigned a blend material and renamed it as metal. And for the base, I have assigned separate Lambert material and renamed it as table. After setting up the scene, drag and select all these models. Go to File and click on Export Selection Option box. Choose File Type to FBX Export and then click on Export Selection. Select your destination where you want to export. Rename it, as per your choice, and click on Export Selection. After you have exported the model, let's jump to Substance Painter to texture the model. So here we are in Substance Painter. If you haven't used Substance Painter before, no need to worry about. Just follow along, and you will get to know. Go to File and click on New. Here choose Template to PBR Metallic Roughness. Select your mesh which you have exported earlier. For normal map format, I will select DirectX, and for document resolution, I will choose 2K resolution, which can be changed later on as well. Leave the rest as default, and click on OK. Navigation in Substance Painter is more or less similar to Autodesk Maya. You can zoom in and out by scrolling the middle mouse button, or hold Alt key plus right click to zoom in and out. Hold Alt key and left click to rotate and hold ALT plus middle mouse button for pan. Here you will find the texture set list, where different materials are in separate layers. Click on the layers to activate it. As you can see, this is the 2D view, and this one is the 3D view. Now we have to bake the textures. Go to texture set settings, scroll down, and click on bake textures. Here I will choose output size to 2048, and leave other settings as default. Then click on Bake All Texture Sets. This will bake out all the textures for different materials. Now we can start doing the texturing of this model. Go to Shelf, and click on Materials. Here you will find different kinds of materials. Select this wood material and drag it to the layers. Automatically the material will appear in the model. Since the wood layer is selected in the texture set list, that's why the material is applied to these parts only. Set your camera to see the texture clearly. You can customize your material from here. Click on this technical parameters, and you will find different options over here to customize the texture as per your choice. Try these settings on your own and choose whatever looks good to the model. If you don't like, you can press Ctrl plus Z for undo, and start over again. Even you can come back to the layer later on to customize it again. Feel free to try all these settings to see what looks best for you. It is looking good for now. Create a fill layer. Go to the shelf and select Smart Masks. From the Material tab, close this color, Metal, and Normal, and leave only Height and Roughness. Select this Dust Soft 2, drag and drop it to the Fill layer. This will create a dust effect, which will give more natural look. Select this layer, right-click, and click on Add, Generator. Click on Generator, and choose MG Dirt. 
play with the settings and see what looks best for you. I will try and adjust some of the settings to give it more natural look. Feel free to play with the settings and see what looks best for you. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and share it to your friends. To change the direction of light, hold shift and right click, then drag. Hold shift and right click, then drag. This is looking good for now. Go to texture set list and select metal layer. Delete this layer one. Go to shelf and click on materials. Select brass pure, drag and drop it to the layer. Adjust the roughness as per your choice. Create a fill layer. Close all these tabs, except Roughness and Height. Right-click on the Fill layer, and click on Add, Black Mask. Go to the shelf and select Smart Masks. Select this Dust Soft, drag and drop it to the Fill layer. Select this layer, right-click, and click on Add, Generator. Click on Generator, and choose MG Dirt. Play with the settings and see what looks best for you. You can change the blending mode of the layer as well. I will choose Overlay. Now select this table layer from texture set list. Reduce the size of the UV panel to have a better view of the texture in the model. Select materials from the shelf. Then click and drag the wood material to the layer. Select this layer one and delete it. I will try and adjust some of the settings to give it more natural look. Feel free to play with the settings and see what looks best for you. It is looking good for now. Create a fill layer. Close all these tabs, except Roughness and Height. Adjust the roughness according to your choice. Then go to Shelf and select Smart Masks. Click on Dust Soft 2 and drag it to the Fill layer. Right-click on the layer and select Add, Generator. Click on Generator and select MG Dirt. Play with the settings and see what looks best for you. After all the adjustments, place your camera in a suitable position. And then click on this render button. Here you will find different settings for iRay render. I will uncheck this ground because I have already created the table model. You will find different environment maps here, check which one looks best for you. I will keep the default panorama. For environment exposure, I will keep it 1. Go back to the texture view to adjust the position of the light. It may crash if you adjust light in the render view. Increase the size of the material view, hold shift and right click, then drag to change the direction of light. Adjust your camera view in a suitable position. Then click on the render button, and adjust the render settings. Click on this clear color to remove the background image. 
You can select any color of your choice, I will keep it gray. Play with the render settings and you are good to go. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comment section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.